Greetings all. So the Devious Monkey here. All right, yesterday I showed you how I changed my lights around and I hung the softbox with the newer SL60 from the ceiling, how I changed all my surrounding lights around, so on and so forth. Today, I'm just gonna follow up, show you that I repaired the holes that I drilled through the ceiling, painted everything up there to, you know, sort of blend it into the ceiling, and then I've been playing with the settings on everything. In addition, while I was doing that today, I did manage to have the ZV-1, one of them over there, filming outside because we got hammered by some serious electrical storms and I caught this really cool lightning strike across the street. Check it out. Okay, so that was pretty neat and I saw the flash and you know like it, it was a strike right there so I heard the boom and the, saw the flash at the same time. I was like, oh, please tell me I got that on camera. So I did, yay. The other thing that I'm doing right now, obviously is I'm showing you what this looks like now with just the blue lights on. So I've got this blue light on and then I've got my overhead blue light on and those are the only lights on, well, except for the TV over there or the computer screen actually, but it's far enough away that it, it should make a difference. Now I'm gonna turn on my fairy lights and look what that does. Look at how much light that adds with the, the you know, they, you can't quite see them the way that I had this filled out here, but it goes around here and across the top of my head. Look at what it adds. Now I'm going to add my left fill light. And now you can see what that looks like. And then I'm going to turn on my softbox. Ah, let there be light. Okay, so now there's plenty of light in here and it's all really soft and diffused and what do you think? Look all right? I mean, it only took me about 15 minutes to pull the light down and paint everything and put it back up. Now, in the meantime, when I had it down, I wanted to, again, follow up and show you a little bit closer on what I did. I filled in the holes where I messed up with drilling into the ceiling. And I'm gonna show you how I built this little contraption up here to be able to mount the light now that I took the light down and I painted it. All right, we got this little two by four that I did and I drilled this hole out first with a half inch, a quarter inch, whatever drill bit. And I drilled down through the board in the exact center and then at the top, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not. Well, you can see there's a little bit of space between here. That's because that carriage bolt is kind of sitting a little high on the board. I tried to core it out just by, you know, sort of angling the drill bit just to drill down a little bit. So that brought the carriage bolt down further. And then I just used a washer and a nut and I screwed it up there nice and tight. Then I took these two five inch screws and drilled up through the two by four up into the ceiling, into the joist that's above the concrete spot. Then you can see there's a hole there, there's a hole there, there's a hole there. That's where I thought the stud was coming this way, but it was going this way. So I remeasured that when I was up in the attic dying of heat and figured where I had to go to hit the center of the board. And then I was able to draw that up there. So now today I painted over the spots that I one drilled the hole or drew circles around the magnet. And then I painted the board a little bit. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is the actual softbox and the light. So someone had asked me or had commented when I had done this uh, softbox light combo before, like I wished you would have shown us how you connected the light to the softbox because you know, this thing is gigantic and it just spins freely. What I had found is the easiest way to do this instead of having the light mounted to the light stand and then trying to pick this big ass 36 inch softbox up and get it on there and having it spinning around and all that shit is that this little umbrella shit, I mean, it's connected by Velcro straps. I mean, I can do it on this side so you can see. So now you can reach inside here and you can grab this and you can stop it from spinning. And then you just take the light, you find out where the little, the little squares are. I don't even know if you can see them, but anyways, you just slide the light down in there to where the squares are. And then, did you hear it click? Now it's on there. And then you just put the Velcro back on 
and now your light's on there and it spins freely. Here's the stand connector is you basically just come over here, slide this up that bolt, and then it's got this little thing here to tighten it down. You tighten it down and now you're on. The other handle on the other side allows you to maneuver this angle. And then of course you can just slide it whichever way you need it to go. So at this point now, the soft box is up, the light is connected. And then what I did was I took the cord, which of course was just draped and laying down here. And I ran it back and I used some of these cable ties here and ran it along that lamp that goes down behind this little curio cabinet thing and plugs in down there. Also, let me move this way. You can see that I can reach this and I can turn it on and off on the switch back there. Now, since I don't film in the studio every day and I just don't want to have it on, I turn the power off at the back of the light. And then when I'm ready to film, I can turn the light on back there, but then use the remote control to turn it on and off if I need to, or to turn it up or down the intensity and all that kind of stuff. And I'm good to go. Now, the soft box is up there. It ain't going anywhere. I've hit my head on it about 40 times since I put it up yesterday because I'm not used to it being there. And I go over here to the window and I close the blinds or I look out the window and then I back up and bam, I hit it. So good thing it's up there really well. Otherwise I probably would have knocked down a hundred times by now. Every once in a while when I get these questions where somebody prefers back to something that, that I used a long time ago and I don't have, I like to sort of go back eventually and revisit that. So I hope whoever you were when you talked to me and you wanted to see how I mounted this soft box to the light, I hope you watched this video and you see how easy it can be or anybody else, not necessarily the person that asked the question. And I hope I gave you an idea of how you can simply add a light into your ceiling. Yes, it required going up into my attic on Friday the 13th on the hottest day of the year when it was about 150 to 160 degrees up there and I had to crawl through all that shit to get to it. See, it's still thundering, still storming. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. I hope I showed you something that helps you out. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, as always, leave them down below. And as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.